Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, and a fly is flying across my screen. Um, in this morning, short TA update, let's quickly jump into the BTK, BTC charts because uh, Bitcoin crashed all the way to 24k guys, so let's see what is happening and what can happen more from this moment onwards. Now let's quickly jump into the chart. Bam, over here. This is the first chart, guys, the four hour chart. Uh, on the four hour chart, we can see that there was a massive drop. Uh, we couldn't break the yellow stepping line up here. We saw a red flag, that is the short flag for the Bam Bam indicator, followed by a red triangle, another red triangle, that is an indication this is going to be a massive short. Of course, on the four hour, it was a massive short all the way till here that's 16.5 percent um with the leverage that would be a massive shot i didn't take it because i was working on my beach bar yesterday maybe i should have paid attention to the charts that would have brought in a little bit more bitcoin than the beach bar but <clears throat> that's how it went um we are now at 24,760. can we go lower that's of course the question that everybody is asking himself and um, if we look at the day chart we can see that we broke out of that structure that we were drawing. We are down below that EMA ribbon by a very long length. If we, if we measure this, this is like how many percent below it. Let's see. This is 25% down below the EMA ribbon. Uh, does that, uh, did that happen many times before? Now, for example, over here, we were 28%. And let's see over here, which also looks very far also 29 percent so these are the amounts that we move down below that ribbon um, a few times in history already so can we go lower yes we can go lower if we go to 28 percent just an indication uh, that would be somewhere around ah, here and that would be 23 24 us dollars so yes that is possible this is a three-day chart by the way uh, you know that we have been talking about that three-day cross over here um, that didn't happen. It bounced from the red line to the bottom. So that is not good. This should be crossing. Then we should get this beautiful green hill and that would be a recovering of the market. Still, I believe if we recover, we can only recover till that ribbon line now 32,600 or something before we maybe go down a little bit more. And where would be we going then? Then we would be going to that red line that is coming up here, the 200 weekly moving average. Like I told you many times before, I believe there were three options, the yellow line or the bluish or the red line. Now, I can confirm that we are following that red line at the moment. You can confirm it yourself if you look at the chart. Does it mean that we will crash directly now this week to the 200 weekly? No, I don't think that will happen. I think this week will uh, be hovering around this level and then we slowly go down to the line, um, which could take two to three weeks maybe. And then we will be around the level of 23,400. That will be the line. Can we wake through? Yes, we can wake through. We have been waking through a few times in history as well. Um, how far can we wake through? I think we can even wake through. Look, if we check with this here, this was a wick through of 30% down below that line. Um, here it was a little bit not that clear. And if we go even back here to the red line, we wick through also from this to there with 15%. So yes, everything is possible. We can wick through. If we wick through 30%, that would be a, a massive wick uh, and drop in Bitcoin price, guys. I, I still don't believe this. But if that would happen, guys, then would would... Uh, Bitcoin would be at a price of 16,000. So let's see. Just stay calm. That's what I always do in these markets. You, of course, you can be freaking out and stressing out. You just um, determine what your strategy is for the next couple of years. Do you want to hold Bitcoin for a long term? Then your dollar cost average. Then this should make you happy. This should make you happy because this is the moment you have all been waiting for to buy Bitcoin at these low levels. So start to accumulate Bitcoin bit by bit, a little bit every week, uh, and you dollar cost average into the price for that next run up again. And that is what you can see in the monthly, because in the monthly, if we zoom out, we can see that Bitcoin has been doing these moves 
many times before guys we go to the bottom we come to the top we go to the bottom we come to the top we go to the bottom we come to a rounded top that is not a blow off um, top and then we go to the bottom again to that red line and from there we go sideways a little bit and then we go to the top again and and we will keep moving and then in 2024 we'll have the next halving and let's see what we will have for price then i will dollar keep dollar cost averaging into the price what led to this massive crash uh the market but also the news like this one for example crypto lending service celsius pauses its withdrawals so the celsius token dropped massively a lot of people are losing trust in the market ethereum dropping to down below the previous all-time high and uh, which of course is not good uh, ethereum has never dropped down below the previous all-time high, which also is difficult because you know 2018 was their first all-time high so um yes it's not good but it's not a sign that bitcoin is also going to drop below the previous all-time high of 20k now um, the indicators and everything you just saw on the screen you can get them on the bitcoinfamily.com and then you go to products and you will find indicator packages and there you will find all these packages that give you a little bit of help on when to buy and when to sell bitcoin which is of course important at this moment of the market as there is a lot of buying opportunities a bear market is not a seller's market it's a buyer's market this is the moment you buy but i have some more charts let's jump into those charts quickly over here and um, this one is a very cool one um, why is this a cool one indeed this is a cool one because this one is telling us how often we have spent an amount of days between those two green lines and if we look at the chart we can see we spent two days over here we spent five days over here we spent 117 days over there we spent seven days over there and here we are still nearing those two green lines and we still need to go in between and how many days will we spend in between we don't know but the distance of the green lines makes me believe this one could happen it's about 100 days it's about three months that we could be moving between 20k and 27k so that is what i think that really can happen what are those two green lines these are the four year ema and the four year ma so that's in between the four year ma moving average and the four year ema and that that's the exponential moving average and in between those lines we spent a certain amount of times during those bear markets now and that is what we need to see go are we going to go in between we can even drop uh, to the 21,600, but that will still be above the previous all-time high guys okay and in bitcoin guys we are just beginning we are just getting started and that is what this chart is showing you if bitcoin would go to a price of 250k we would still only be down below one percent of the total cap of world assets if it would be at 500k we would still be at 5.6 percent of the total market cap of all the world assets and if even bitcoin would go to a million dollar per bitcoin and uh, we would still be below 3.5 percent of the world assets market cap so yes we are just getting started don't freak out don't think that bitcoin is going to crash to zero these are the moments you step into bitcoin these are the moments you need to decide if you want to be or not to be that is very important to understand because there's a long-term game every time bitcoin crashes and you feel this uh, fear this massive fear this massive max pain these are the moments you should be buying and dollar cost averaging in as an investor not short-term trader as an investor for the next three years as you know always when you buy a bitcoin and you hold it three years you turn out in profit so when the market is screaming oh it's going to crash to zero that's the moment you need to be and you need to start accumulating bitcoin because that will lead to a very beautiful future in my opinion now that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to your channel uh, hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts are you feeling pain are you feeling max pain are you adding to your portfolio uh, maybe you want to give a comment about the bitcoin the bitcoin beach bar let me know what you think about that as well thank you for watching uh, see you tomorrow again bam